Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, wife cheated, manipulated our kids, and my kids think I'm the villain. What do I do now? Come, let's explore these real life stories. Me 34 male, and my wife 33 female, have been married for 11 years. We have two children together, 10 male and 11 female. We were together for 15 years. I earn a decent living and make up to four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a year. But at times, I have to take on projects that require traveling. Our marriage was good, with several ups and downs. In October 2019, I had to travel to Europe for work. I stayed there for a month. When I got back from the trip, everybody was a bit distant and cold towards me. They didn't come to receive me at the airport, so I had to call an Uber. They ignored my attempts at conversation and only communicated with me when necessary. I had doubts, so I asked my daughter why she was acting rude towards me. She just said, hope you had fun at your business trip. This was out of character for her. A few days passed and I remained confused about the situation. I asked my wife multiple times about their behavior, but she always said that they were tired from a long day at school. One night, I was checking my email on our family iMac. As I was finishing up, I noticed that my wife's account was logged in. I thought of opening her messages. I saw that one of her colleagues was at the top of the list. I opened their conversation and scrolled through the entire thread, seeing their flirting, intimate messages, and exchange of nudes. They had planned on meeting at hotels. Apparently, she had ended things with him because she was feeling too guilty about it. I confronted her. She cried and begged me to give her another chance. I had anger issues in the past, so I simply took a drive to my brother's house and spent the night there. The next day, when I came home, the kids had already gone to school. She asked me to sit down on the couch to talk. She said that she was feeling alone at the time, and he apparently made her feel special. I asked her about the timeline and told her that if she lied, I would give her a divorce. She told me every detail. She had been intimate with him once at the end of the affair. She felt disgusted afterward. She said she had too much guilt and ended things with him. I told her that I would divorce her. I contacted a lawyer and told him to start preparing the papers. Since we had a prenup signed, divorce was an easy option. I went to my room and opened my Mac to collect some proof of her infidelity. To my surprise, she had deleted all of it. The next day, she threatened me not to divorce her or she would take away our kids. She told them at the beginning of my work trip that I had an affair and had gone to see my girlfriend when, in reality, I had gone for work. She fabricated fake conversations between me and another woman. She also told them that I would leave them on the streets to be with my girlfriend. She had manipulated them so much that they were convinced I was the bad guy. In our country, if parents get a divorce, the custody of children is given to the parent chosen by the kids. I was helpless at this point. I canceled the divorce and proceeded to reconcile. It's been almost a year that I've been going through this situation. My kids don't respect me like they used to, they don't show affection. My wife has been keeping the truth from my children. She has also been treating me like crap. Our bedroom is dead, and I haven't been intimate in seven to eight months. Because of all the stress at home, I stay out of the house most of the time. I go home only to sleep at night. This led to an emotional connection with one of my colleagues over the past month. She is also divorced. Her husband cheated on her and left her for another woman in another continent. We have long conversations, dinners, and movie nights. I have been deprived of love and affection in my own home. I have told my wife to start showing affection. I try to kiss her, hug her, but I am always turned down. Last week, I got intimate with my colleague. This was the first time I had been intimate in 9 to 10 months. It was the best intimate experience of my life. I have come here looking for advice. Should I divorce my wife and be with my colleague? Or should I just live this double life? I have never been loved or appreciated at home, but my colleague appreciates everything I do for her. If I leave my family, then my kids will think that their mom's claims were right. I will be the bad guy in the eyes of my kids for life. Any advice? 
Update. It's been a week since my last post, and a lot has happened since then. As I read the comments on my previous post, many of you doubted that she is still having an affair or sleeping with someone else. I don't think that's possible. Since her affair in October, she left her job as soon as I discovered the affair, and then we installed cameras in our house. I can view the live feed from the cameras whenever I want. She barely goes out and just watches Netflix while eating snacks. She has also gained around 60 to 70 pounds during this period. So, hiring a PI to investigate whether she is having an ongoing affair doesn't seem reasonable to me. Many of you suggested recording her conversation with me about her affair. This was a solid move, thanks to Reddit. I also recovered my old messages and receipts to prove to my kids that I was on a work trip last year. Also, many of you suggested recovering texts and pictures from my Mac using professional help, but my wife is a tech specialist, so I don't think she would leave any evidence. I ordered a good quality, small, portable voice recorder. I also planned a trip to my parents' house with the kids, as I wanted a long time with them to explain the situation. They love their grandparents, so I knew they wouldn't turn down the trip. I also told my whole plan to my colleague and requested her to understand my situation. She was very supportive and told me that she would not contact me for the whole week except for work-related issues. On Wednesday, my voice recorder arrived at my office. On Thursday evening, I drove my kids to my parents' house. They stayed there, but I returned home after dropping them off. I spent the night at home with my wife. I started the voice recorder and kept it in my pocket. I tried to initiate intimacy with my wife, but she was ignoring me. I asked her what she had done for me in the past year other than manipulating our kids against me. She started shouting and said, I'll make sure they never know the truth and you'll never be able to give me a divorce. I asked her if she would ever be intimate with me, to which she answered by saying, I have no interest in intimacy, but you do. So it's not my problem. Go look somewhere else for it. I said that I am not like her and would never break my vows for an affair like she did. At this point, she was angry and said, I had an affair because you left me lonely and treated me like crap. If you want, you can have one too. But don't disturb me. She was so loud that even our neighbors might have heard that. I got the proof I needed to show my children that I was not a cheater. On Friday, I took the voice recorder to the office, edited the audio, and saved it on multiple devices. I also collected other proof that I was on a business trip last year. In the evening, I went to my parents' house and spent the night. On Saturday morning, I sat down with my kids and told them my side of the story. They obviously didn't believe me until I showed them the proof. My daughter started crying. My kids hugged me and assured me that they would never hate me or act rude towards me in the future. To be honest, this was the moment I had been waiting for all year. That night was the best night of my life. I hadn't felt so close to my kids in years. On Sunday, I called my wife and told her that the kids and I were going on vacation and would not be able to contact her for the next three to four days. I also contacted my lawyer and told him to prepare the divorce papers. Now here I am with my kids, preparing for mountain climbing. I haven't told the kids about my colleague yet. I also plan to start family therapy with my kids so that our communication can improve. I'm planning to tell them about my colleague after the divorce, during therapy. If you love this story and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.